Virgo. What's the word, Joe? It is Mira. It is Shiva. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of August 2021. We are here to have some fun baby yes indeed we are reloaded shout out to all my og shout out to all my newbies shout out to every last one of my babies who have liked shared subscribed and clicked this video what's going on with you how you doing and um if there's anyone that would like a book of personal or private reading with me only thing you need to do is click the description box of this video or click the about tab on my youtube page it gives you all these various lovely links to connect with me to support my page if you want to book with me just send me a message message on Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram Messenger, shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com and I get you all set up on the schedule. Virgo, you already know what the word is. You know how we operate around to and through here. So you know we want to give Father God his praises, his flowers. We're going to give him his thanks. I don't care if you call him Jesus. I don't care if you call him the universe. I don't care what you call him. We just going to give him thanks and we just going to give him all of the love and just, you know, we'll give him his flowers. So if you wouldn't mind, bow your head. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Virgo. We thank you so much for your warmth. We thank you so much for your love. We thank you so much for your dedication. We thank you so much for you're surrounding us with just strong people, strong resources, and just dedicated faith, Father God. We thank you so much for teaching us how to have dedicated faith and just knowing that we have that worthiness within ourselves. We are so worthy. We are so prepared, Father God, and we ain't scared. We're going to keep fighting. We're going to keep on trudging through, Father God. We so determined for all of the blessings that got our name on it, Father God. We thank you so much for gifting us and giving us every single piece of daily bread that we need for our nourishment. In Jesus' name, we thank you so much. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Yes, sir. Let's get that guidance that we need for the sign of Virgo. So, I got a whole bunch of cards here. Some new cards mixed up with some old cards that I don't genuinely, uh, that I don't use all of the time. Generally, I can't say it. I can't say it. I just can't. It's okay. <laughs> Give me guidance for Virgo. Give me one card for Virgo, please. Let's see what we got. And this is the Oracle of Visions deck. Oh, goodness gracious. You guys, I forgot what is the other uh, sign that got this card. Um, shit, I want to say it was just Sagittarius or something like that. Y'all, y'all got that carnivorous plant, this blood sucker, this woman eater, this snake, this venomous creature. I don't know who this is in y'all's energy, y'all, but just be careful and please watch yourself because energies like this, they seem sweet, they seem nice, they are ruthless. They have an ability to legitimately take all the positivity that which was you and make it disappear. Where it's like you don't even know yourself anymore and it feels like the what to which you was doesn't even exist. You know? So please be careful of these type of energies right here. Let me read y'all this card. Lord Jesus, I do not like this card. This says attraction, magnetism, infatuation. It says for every man that exists, a bait which he cannot resist swallowing. This card portrays a seductive and alluring female, fete, female, femme fatale, femme fatale. At some point, we have all met her in some guise or gender, possibly not even in a human form, but as a stagnation. A situation, a place, or an invitation to act. We are attracted irresistibly like moths to a flame. We may be cognizant of how ill-advised it would be to fall for her charms. Ironically, that suspicion of danger may even add to her allure, like some complimentary adornment. And casting caution to the wind. We are driving 
we are driven and motivated, excuse me. But attraction alone can be shallow and temporary infatuation with little substance. Such an emotion not only lacks duration, but along with bravery, it also is fraught with danger and repercussions. But despite it all, we cannot entirely reject her. We look once more and yes she's still there still alone and still beckoning so again it's something here virgo that you know you do not need to be influenced by you don't need to be surrounded by it you don't need to be overcome by the sensation by the temporary gratification of whatever it is because whatever it is is fleeting this could be a drug addiction this could be um, a relationship that's toxic. This can be a job that you feel dedicated to and you just won't break ties with. Any type of thing that you feel like is toxic. You got the Seven of Swords. So, it's, again, this is somebody that's trying to break away. Um, trying to get away with something. So... This is still somebody sneaky. So I don't know if this is you trying to gather your things up quickly and escape this freak show. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what the fuck did I get involved in? Like, you know, this person is very smart and conniving and they know what to say. They know what to do, how to manipulate me every time I kind of try to escape they figure some way to reel me in with their sweet smelling nectar and their gifts and their promises of you know better things in the future and all of this shit is fucking lies do you understand so either this is you trying to out trick the trickster and trying to pack your shit up and get away without being caught without being recognized um it's like gathering as much as you can and that you could carry and getting out of getting out of the, getting out of the scene you have the uh night of truth here <laughs> so yeah I, it's like when i see this seven of swords i'm not seeing this as a bad person i'm just seeing this as someone that knows what they have to do like they're not in a safe place they're not in a permanent position they're not around people that they can trust it's like i you know there could be some level of exposure you know i don't know why i feel like that it's like or you've been exposed to something where you see something for what it is with that knight of of, of swords it's like I understand I can't sit back and act like I'm stupid like I'm completely oblivious of what the aim here is and what this person is set out to do this person really wants to eat me alive you understand like this is only a win-win situation for this person this person is trying to reel me in with all of this fake belief system and they're basically telling me what the fuck I want to hear you know what I'm saying and Mm -mm. I don't bought all of my shit here. I don't bought all of my ideas. I don't know if these are ideas because swords could represent ideas, lines of communications, or things that you could have told them. So it's like I don't know if you're trying to take everything that you told them, everything that you've written down, and it's like I'm trying to get the fuck out of here without getting caught. You know, it's I don't know if you have the information that you need. You have whatever it is to make you look like an upstanding citizen you know what i'm saying it's like i have the truth i understand i i received my learning my bachelor's degree or something i don't know it's like whatever it is that you were supposed to understand it that you were supposed to get from the situation it's like you tried to get it and get gone you know what i'm saying and get gone for good um give me one more card here since I've been doing three cards for everybody. But it's like someone's trying to get away from some circus freak or some sideshow animal or something like that. It's like, I don't want to be a part of the circus. Like, they're going to suck me dry. They're going to take all of my trade secrets or something. So, I don't know if it's like 
It's something that you told someone. You got the star in the reverse. So, um, again, it's like, it's some type of test of faith. Some type of test of faith, strength, and ability. I don't, it's something about you guys not feeling like that you can last that long. Um, trying to keep up the show. I think that that's what it was about. It's like, I, I don't think I can, I don't have faith in myself that I can keep up this show, keep up this act. Because you see like the circus in the back. It's like trying to keep up a charade. And it's like, I'm not an actor. I'm talented and I'm gifted in many ways. But me trying to put on a show and entertain people in a situation that I don't have faith in, it doesn't, it doesn't look good for me. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather just pack up my shit and get the fuck up out of there. I don't believe in myself in this situation. It's not healthy for me. It's making me lose faith in myself you know what I'm saying like what am I doing here I don't fit in here why did I even bring my ideas and all of my stuff here and if why did I trust you why did I have faith in you know what I'm saying so it's like I, I you losing faith in something and it's like I understand why it's like I understand why like this was someone that was all out for them it, it wasn't about me it wasn't about uh us doing what's right for each other because like with the star it's like it's like it's not only about me thriving it's like for all of us to shine do you understand it's because we believe in something we believe it's more than one star out there it is more than one star out there like one of them is clearly shining bigger but it's enough for for you to see all of them stars do you understand what i'm saying it's like i don't know it's something about I see the true ability and the true nature of this individual right here. It, it's not meant for me to shine around this energy. I see that now. It's like I got to take my shit and I got to go because it's something about it's toxic. It was like it was set up for me to be eaten alive if I would stay there. And mm -mm, I'm a little smarter than that, you know. And if you would have left and look, if you would have took all of your belongings, if you would have took everything, they would have noticed that you dipped out. But because I feel like you left those two swords hanging in the background there, it took a little bit longer for this person to realize that you were gone and you were able to kind of get at a safe distance, you know? Give me guidance. For Virgo, please. You got adjudication. Got the justice system. Hmm. What is this? Community. Seem like some type of lawyer. Court system. Seems like there needs to be a, a decision. I feel like community service. I feel like someone may get community service. Um, like time served in community service or something. It's like someone having to go in front of the judge or whatever. I feel like, yeah, I feel like some type of community work is, is someone... Yeah... I feel like if it has something to do with some type of court system or something, it's like time served in community service is, is the person is going to have to do. Especially if this person is going to have to face someone in court because like the seven of swords can be like a thief card. That can be like a thief card. I don't know if you just fessed up and told the truth. It's like, listen, I was around a fucked up individual. I needed to get away. Yes, I took a few things. But I had to do what I had to do because I felt like I was falling. Do you understand? I, like, I felt like I was falling. And if I continued to stay in this environment, I would have continued to sink into nothing. So, like, let me just go ahead and do my community service. Look, I'm telling you the truth. 
I'm being blunt and I'm being honest. This motherfucker is a bloodsucker fucking narcissist. This is a vampire. This is a witch. This is an evil, evil bitch. Do you understand? Like, I almost lost my life. Like, this bitch almost took me out. So, I had to do what the fuck I had to do. And I'll, I'll, I'll take the repercussions for whatever I did. You know, because... Um, it was like I have a sink or swim, and I had to, no, mm-mm. I had to steal that bitch goddamn card so I could take me some swimming lessons so I could get away from her. So it's something like that, you know what I'm saying? It's like I had to get away. I had to, you know, um, but it's, and still it's like with the seven of swords, it's like, Figuring out a way to talk your way out of something. Do you understand? Like you, you, you figure out a, out a way how to outsmart the justice system by inadvertently just telling them the fucking truth. It's like this person was trying to set me up. You know what I'm saying? Like this person was trying to get me, and had I not did what I did, we would have been. In something else I would have been the victim of something else because this bitch didn't mean no wealth for me right here you know what I'm saying so um mm -mm. it's like what was left what what else was there left for me to do other than what I did to get me out of this situation what was left for me to do so the judge is like yeah you right even though I wouldn't advise you to do that again young man cause like the ten of swords so it's like being defeated. It's like it's like somehow knowing that you was going to lose. And then the emperor. But it's like taking responsibility for the situation and where the shit stands. Do you? It's like, yes, I did something wrong. Like Even if you did steal something. Even if you did do something wrong. It's like standing in front of the court system and over here. It's like telling the truth, but knowing it's like you're not just about to get away with it. But I, I want to say it kind of lessened the blow with this community over here, with this community service right here. It's like you might have to pander to other people and help other people and things like that. Like you're not getting away, getting away with the shit. You know what I'm saying? But you're slightly getting away with not having a harsher sentence for, for what you did because you still you still you know snuck off and, and you know what I'm saying you still did something that isn't ideal to I want to say because you didn't take all of it because you didn't take all of it. But like it, it's something where. It's something where. You got the emperor right here. It's like no matter what happened. You might be coming out of a situation. Where you suffer. Like a real serious blow. You feel like you're in ruin. Because. It's like you just have to accept the fate. The way it's being given to you. And it's like you have to start over. I, I want to say something could have really hurt you very bad. But it's again with the emperor. It's like you're taking responsibility. You're learning. It was a learning lesson. Like only a coward lays there on the ground and accepts defeat. I don't accept defeat. You know what I'm saying? So I'm championing my way through this shit. It's like, all right, judge. I, I, accept, I accept the terms. It's like I accept it. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm telling the truth. So it's like I don't know if you someone felt like they could have had a fall from grace or something like that. Um again I feel like someone was victimized, like someone might have I don't know if someone could have used the justice system against them. It's like they fell victim into a trap where they gave into some type of addiction. They it was like some small moment of satisfaction and it just, I don't know. Because again, it's like somebody got lured into something. It's like, give me guidance here for the Virgos. Thank you so much. This is a lot. This is a whole lot. Thank
Thank you so much. I appreciate that. But we're gonna... two cards. Two cards. I, I'm sorry. This is not no failed justice system. Like this justice system is not playing. It's not playing. But I feel like because someone didn't take it all or whatever the hell that means, it's like it's not complete ruin of what you really think. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, somebody fucked up. Someone's having to start over. You know what I'm saying? And it's like someone was left out and destitute, left by their self or something like that to kind of pick up the pieces on your own but that's life though I don't know why I need to tell somebody that but you got the three and then you got the joker card so this is again this is a phase of learning this is a test of faith this is a test of willpower this is to really see your strength um, the, three, the three of clubs is when um, it's a working environment. You have to learn to work your way through the system. Um, because, like, the three of clubs can be, again, a work environment, a systematic environment where it could be a club. So it's like you come in on this level, but then you have to work. You have to put in a certain amount of dues and... Um, you know, you got to be determined to kind of work your way up through the channels. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you could be starting at an entry level and people are like showing you the ropes or just giving you actual the access and being invited into the club to even try out to audition or something. They're giving you pointers and tips what to do for you to audition for this role or for this part or something like that this joker card is basically about transition it's about taking a leap of faith do you understand like um not necessarily understanding who or what you are at the moment but understanding that what's going on is far bigger than you and Either you gonna believe in something or nothing at all. Either you can believe in yourself that you can do it and work your way through these channels and listen and follow instructions and learn what it is that you need to learn to finish this process. Because I don't know why I feel like this is a process, especially with this judification and the court system. And then you got someone sneaking off and... You know, try not to get caught, but at the same time, like, I do feel like you, you, you're you not all the way getting away with something. You do have to answer to something in the sense that either it's like you, you, you did get away, but on a karma level, you're having to start all over because you feel completely backstabbed and betrayed by people you thought were involved in this situation with you or or should have had your back or something you know what I'm saying it's like this is someone feeling hurt and feeling having to start over again because otherwise you would have been eaten alive like dead ass serious like this is like someone who continuously was trying to get away and do it the legal and right way but couldn't but they know if they would have stayed there God knows what the fuck would have happened to them. So, anyway, this says, let me tell you the three, because, cause again, these cards are vastly different than the way that I have been taught and have learned. So, I will tell you guys, hold on here, and I'm sorry. Three of Clubs, Practical Development in Business and Social Matters, Expanding Opportunities, Growth and Advancement, The Use of Common Sense of Good Judgment, A Developing Business, Enterprise or Three-Way Partner Deal or Business Collaboration of Three or More People, A Cloverleaf, Good Luck and Fortunate Circumstances, Something Growing, Plant Hair or Nails, etc., 
increasing understanding or expanding one's knowledge base on new things. It could represent both formal training, training or self edification. Okay, so this card in the creator's terminology, the three of clubs means pouring from a full cup. Leadership, recovery, accountability. Remember I was saying that past experiences will assist in future relationships. Unknown territory, planting new seeds, newfound confidence, good outcome, solid foundation, expanding horizons, growth, higher learning, financial success, turning your pain into your gain, wholeness. Again, it's like accepting help, accepting other people's, I don't want, I, I don't want to say accepting other people's intuition, but it's like accepting other people's ideas and what they see for your journey and what they think that you should do. You know what I'm saying? Like being around a focal group, someone that follows the law, someone that can Put you in a better position to help you understand where you're going and how you should go about doing this thing. Um, again, I feel like community service is helpful for you. I feel like it puts you around better people and it puts you in the mindset of being a service to people. And You know what I'm saying? Not being a servant to people. I don't... Gosh... It says the Joker card is a card of transformation and enlightenment. Transformation through painful experiences. Willfully blind. Avoiding the truth. Not seeing clearly. And again, I want to say with this energy that people were walking into the carnivorous plant. Not realizing that it's luring you in to devour you. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's only for their personal gain. Not for yours. So, again... <laughs> It, missing important details. Nothing is what it appears to be. Mis mysteries reveal uncovering lies, synchronicities, premonitions, believing in the unseen and the unknown. Do what feels right. A new path. Resourcefulness. You are divinely guided. So again... Like I said, someone here most definitely felt like they were in some type of danger. They were not in a place where there was receptive, positive energy. And I want to say took things in their own hands and had to do what the hell they had to do to get the hell out of dodge and out of harm's way. So shout out to you guys for following your intuition and doing that. Um, again, don't let nothing or nobody suck you dry in any type of toxic addictions, um, that you guys could be dealing with. It seems like you guys are trying to get away from it and get some help and assistance and trying to learn a different way because the three of clubs represents someone, um, getting some help and guidance and learning something. And clearly that says recovery. So, and it says accountability. And I told y'all with this Knight of Swords, it's like you guys being honorable, being upright, telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, not trying to really be a part of the justice system on the, you know what I'm saying? And that, like, I'm just, I'm just, look, give me guidance for Virgo and love, please. You got the love card, so that's good. Can I have one card, please? Thank you. Good. Damn, y'all got love and sexual freedom too. Okay. All right. So, these two cards basically say that um, I want to say you guys are focused on being single right now. I don't feel like you guys want to be tied down. It seems like um, you guys are still discovering yourself. You're still dis discovering your wants and what really makes your heart tick. I want you guys to just spend some time just evolving and not putting any restraints or boundaries on what it is that you think love is. 
just go with what feels right you know like that's what i'm feeling right there give me more guidance Especially with that judification in the community. I definitely feel that you guys are single. Very much so single. It feels like you guys are being a good judge of character. And I feel like trying to just communicate with people. And figure people out before you're jumping into things. And with the three of clubs. That's basically talking about partners and friendships. Like there's like. It's more so about friendship. It's not about relationships. You see the community and all of that things. You got the honeymoon right here. Give me one more card in love for Virgo. And then what is this here? You got unrequited love in the reverse. So I feel like when it comes to sexual freedom and the honeymoon and the unrequited love in the reverse, you might have just got over a breakup. Where it's like you were in a relationship where it took you a long time to walk away. Like you knew this shit was unrequited. But you let it skate off in that honeymoon period for a little bit. It's like instead of breaking up, y'all would break up for a little bit. And y'all would, you know, kind of like slide on that honeymoon period. But never fully. It was like a never full recovered relationship it's like y'all never got out of the honeymoon period it was like y'all would get together after the honeymoon period we would be done y'all would be fussing arguing again and then make it back together and it was just like this constant drama or bullshit that's why it's like i feel like you guys are really focused on love do you understand you guys really want love you guys may be taking a honeymoon, a vacation, or something away from focusing on love. Like, you guys might be taking a vacation and just not worrying about that right now. Yeah, like, enjoying a vacation, a break. Like, you guys are enjoying a break. The sexual freedom and the unrequited love thing right here, especially with the community. I definitely feel like you guys are single. You're not trying to be attached to anybody. You just want openness and the chance to just observe and date around right now it's like i literally just got the fuck away from a nutcase that try to like fucking kill me or some shit like i am like i could have went to jail fuck around with this crazy shit like nah bruh like i'm just standing in my own truth i'm just trying to regather my faith and shit and just deal with my community service and take accountability for what the fuck I just got myself out of like I really don't want to deal with nobody right now I'm just not on no serious level. just let me chill see what the fuck is going on like I just suffered a great loss like let me love on myself a little bit before I worry about it. anybody else thank you very much okay so let's see what else we got going on here with Virgo. I just keep dropping. Okay, give me guidance. Okay. You got the Knight of you got the King of Swords in the reverse. And is this the lovers card? I want to say this is. No, the Two of Cups. You got the King of Swords and the Two of Cups. So I want to say, like, you guys could be developing a connection with someone, but it's just like you're not sure. Um, and then that there could be two Virgo women here that is having like a same sex connection or something like that. Uh, I definitely like this is a same sex relationship. This is like two women here. Um, and there's a king of swords on the outside. So I don't know if you were aware that. That's why. I... Because there could have been someone because I. Uh... I ain't trying to get too much in y'all business. I'm really not. The Venus Fire Trap. That's the only thing I'm going to say. Like, um, I feel like there was a relationship where there were two lesbian women that I don't think anybody knew. I, I, why do I want to say? I feel like no one knew that this girl was seeing women. And it's like this man on the outside that's just confused and feel like he's fucking going crazy. And it's just like a lot of unanswered questions. It's like... This person feels like they're on the outside or on the outskirt and not too sure about something. Um, 
And then, in general, uh, I want to say there's just a connection. It could be two girls here that there's a male energy feels very connected to these two individuals. It's just not sure who the hell. Not sure. And again, with this sexual freedom, it's like I like both of y'all. Um, I, I And because I like both of you guys, it's like it's unrequited. And I really just kind of enjoy my sexual freedom. So it can't be requited if I just, I'm not sure. I like both of you guys. I just not in a committed type of way. I really just I'm about my sexual fluidity right now. I don't really want to be attached to anybody. And shit, look like y'all bitches is sexual fluid. Why the fuck won't y'all talk to each other instead of worrying me? What the fuck you want me to be the sausage on the outside of the bun or some shit? What the fuck? Anyway, I gotta go. All right, Virgo, I love y'all. Now, but for real, for real, I really do feel like um, there's somebody that's been through so much. There could definitely be two different options in love. And it's not that the man is ignoring them. It's just, I just, I just came through. I just came out of a loss. I'm not that, I'm not that sure that I'm ready to jump back into something so quickly. And I met two amazing individuals. I'm not necessarily at the point of time of my life where I'm, so focused on making choices right now and shit like that because bitches like this exist out there and I, I, I i'm not fucking i'm not fucking with that shit listen i'm single for right now i enjoy both of y'all's company look y'all hit me up when y'all ready to hang out all right deuces y'all hit the like button i'm gone <laughs>